Hi everyone, this is Alexander Dunlop, and I'm here with my weekly wisdom call. A day late from yesterday, we're on the road traveling, I'm with my kids and Vicki, and we're in rural Oregon, and uh, the Wi-Fi is surprisingly spotty out here. Uh, we're on the coast in Oregon, and it's beautiful, uh, and kind of a misty, rainy climate. Um, I'm in the car right now, finding a quiet moment to share this weekly wisdom with you. Uh, this week, in the Book of Life, the card in play is the Seven of Diamonds. Dun, 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 dun. And, uh, hi Vicky, hi Ramon. Um, I hope it sounds good in the car, I hope the audio is good. It's kind of fun to be shooting this video in the car. And it's appropriate, as I'm going to share in a few minutes, it's appropriate for this Seven of Diamonds um, to be doing it like this. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, the deck of playing cards is an ancient book of sacred geometry, and it was hidden in plain sight. And in this sacred geometry, we can read the sacred patterns of our lives. So then we understand our lives, we know the template of our lives, and then we can be consciously in tune with uh, our lives. Oh, my son is watching this video from the hotel room upstairs. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> so that's the point of knowing these cards. It's fun, of course, and um, we can play the game of our life. It's about being in alignment so that we have harmonic resonance so we're in tune and when we're in tune we sing a happy song in our life in our experiences in our relationships things are in balance and things are in harmony around us and then life falls effortlessly into place oh now my daughter's watching from upstairs also hi guys so I hope you're packing up and getting ready to go because we're going to get in the car soon and we're going to drive to Eugene, Oregon. That's our next stop up the coast. So, uh, all right. The card this week is the uh, Seven of Diamonds. There's 52 cards in the deck, as you might know, and there are 52 weeks in the year. So each week is represented by a card. Last week was the Six of Diamonds. This week is the Seven of Diamonds. So the symbolism on the Seven of Diamonds, you see you have this... Uh, kind of upside down or um, I'm not even sure what you call that it's like a kind of like an M but then it has a downside too when it becomes like a W see that there is a high side and a low side to the seven of diamonds and diamonds represents the material things of life what matters to us so this week you may find that things flip high and low with what really matters to you the things that you really value in life and you might get disappointed you know I was certainly disappointed yesterday that I didn't get to shoot this video at 12 noon Eastern time like I normally do so that was disappointing to me and as my partner Vicki knows I was a little bit bummed about it throughout the day we were on an amazing river tour of the Rogue River from Gold Beach and we were going up into the wild canyons on this jet boat it was phenomenal and I had to let that thought go that I was disappointed that I hadn't done my weekly call on this card but that's the meaning of this energy is that we might get easily disappointed things may go down and back up again we may have dips in the road so to speak this week things may not go according to our expectations our expectations may get dashed and so it's very important that we are willing to go with the flow. You know, as things may dip down into a lower um, vibration, into a lower experience, we might get disappointed and it might seem tragic. We might start judging ourselves. The opportunity is to flip it around, to pivot our perspective, to pivot how we're looking at things. Yeah, thank you, Lily. If you're following along with the energy this week, you will know that it is already happening. It starts on Sunday, and we're now into Tuesday. I've certainly already been experiencing this, as I shared from yesterday. I was in this place feeling disappointed that I hadn't shot this video that I really care about. 
that matters to me to share this knowledge. And so I was in this low pa place of, with a lower perspective, judging myself and then flipping it around to do something fun with it, like shooting the video in the car today. Totally flipping it around to create a whole new experience. And that's what's in play for all of you this week, for all of us. How can we flip an apparently um, difficult or annoying or unpleasant situation? How can we flip it and see the high side of it, make something positive out of it? When life gives us lemons to make lemonade, that's the theme of this week. How can we flip something around? Um, another thing that's happening for us is, uh, as I said, we're in Oregon, and you may know there's some forest fires going on out here, and we had to cancel a few nights of hotel reservations. So we actually don't know where we're going to stay tonight, and so here we are. We're in this kind of uh, limbo, not knowing experience of we don't know where we're going to stay because we had to cancel some reservations and we have to take a different route. Um, but I know that we're going to flip it around to find something positive out of it, to find the silver lining out of this cloud. And we are in a cloud. If you can see behind me, it's very cloudy. And there are some, there's a lot of smoke in the air and there's a lot of fog. Uh, but we're on the coastline far away from the fires, so don't worry. We're safe. Um, but we're going to find a way to flip this around, right? We're in on a low experience. We're going to flip it around to find the high side find the fun, find the positive experience out of this. And that's what I invite you all to do this week in your own way. The details are going to be different. So how you, how it shows up for you is going to be different, but the theme is there to go from low to high. And now my, my partner Vicky, who's also watching in the hotel room upstairs, is chiming in that she was feeling low in her physical body this morning, so she did some yoga and that has helped her. Um, I also did some yoga this morning. Um, I'll give you another example of this experience. We didn't really have anything for breakfast this morning, but we had some leftover pizza from last night. We went to a really nice pizza shop in town and um, got some really good gluten-free pizza, um, fresh homemade dough with really nice veggies on it. And I wanted to eat it for breakfast because we didn't have anything else, but I didn't want to eat it cold right and I didn't want to have this low experience of cold pizza so I went down to the front desk and asked them if there was any way I could heat up my pizza and the lady took me into the back room in the kitchen and let me use the stove so I flipped it around heated up the pizza and made the pizza delicious again so we had delicious pizza for breakfast on the road in Oregon so this is another example of how you can flip it around, right? Don't get stuck eating cold pizza this week. Flip it around and cr make it hot and fresh and tasty. This is the theme. But just be alert, because when you're in this place, you may feel doomed. You may think there's no way out. You may think you're stuck. Oh, I just have to do it. There's nothing I can do about it. And that's not true. There is something you can do about it. You can flip your perspective and flip it to see what's possible, to see what's positive out of it. And then also be aware that everyone around you may be having this low experience of doom and gloom and pessimism and things are going bad, can't help it, it's nothing, you know, our society's going to hell in a handbasket, whatever it is people's negative perspective and it may affect you so you want to be aware for yourself to flip your own perspective around to see what really matters because that's what we're flipping we're flipping our perspective of what really matters to us what do we really value so you can flip that around for yourself what really matters for me here and what do I really value and this is a question a series of questions you can ask for yourself my son is walking over. It looks like he's filming me as I'm shooting this video. Um, but flipping around what really matters to you. And so that's the question of what really matters to me and what do I really value. And this will be in play for you this week.
to so this week is an opportunity to discover what do you really value and what really matters to you and so as always I wish you good luck playing the game of your life and may you live your life like it's your favorite game to play have fun everyone <laughs>